Introduction, cervical spondylosis is a condition that can cause back pain and even paralysis. It's a serious condition that often affects women in their 30s and 40s, so understanding what causes it and how to treat it is essential for anyone with the disease. What is cervical spondylosis? Cervical spondylosis is a condition that affects the spine. The cause of cervical spondylosis is unknown, but it is most commonly caused by an overuse of the neck or back. Many people with cervical spondylosis develop from problems with the discs in their necks and hips. What are the symptoms of cervical spondylosis? Many people with cervical spondylosis experience pain in their neck and spine when they move. They may also find it difficult to passing through stairs or getting out of bed. Other symptoms of cervical spondylosis can include Poor vision because of disc herniations Difficulty sleeping because of sciatica, back pain from spinal cord compression, or low back pain Heat intolerance because of stenotic discs in the lower back Difficulty swallowing because of intracranial hypertension, high pressure inside the head Difficulty walking because of sciatica or low back pain from disc herniations. Difficulty speaking because of dysphagia, difficulty swallowing, or from stenosis, narrowing of the spinal cord, of the larynx. Depression because of changes in posture or from other causes. What are the treatment options for cervical spondylosis? There are a number of surgical procedures that can be used to treat cervical spondylosis. These include lumbar fusion, lumbar decompression, and vertebral fusion. Surgery is often necessary to remove the spine from the lower back and neck, and many patients experience excellent results. However, surgery is sometimes expensive and may not be available in all areas. Physical therapy Physical therapy can be used to improve the quality of life for patients with cervical spondylosis. It can help improve movement, range of motion, posture, balance, and strength. The goal of physical therapy is to restore these lost abilities so that patients can live more independently and enjoy their lives as usual. Home care Home care can be an effective way to manage symptoms caused by cervical spondylosis. Home care services may include activities such as engaging in regular exercise, taking medication at home, providing relaxation techniques, or Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, support for those who need it most. Home care also allows patients to remain independent while receiving treatment from doctors and nurses at home. What are the prevention options for cervical spondylosis? Regular exercise can help reduce the risk of cervical spondylosis. In addition, a healthy diet can help protect against developing the disease. Avoiding smoking is another important prevention strategy for cervical spondylosis. Finally, getting enough sleep is critical for overall health and well-being. Conclusion Cervical spondylosis is a problem that can cause pain in the neck and spine. Treatment options for this condition include surgery, physical therapy, and drug therapy. There are also prevention options that can help people avoid developing cervical spondylosis. Exercise is an important part of preventing cervical spondylosis, as is eating a healthy diet. Get enough sleep is also key to maintaining good health.